let's talk about business. This channel is facilitated to help you start businesses, to help you make more money, to help you grow as a person. I was wondering, what is the big problem for many of you to start a business? Is it money? Is it access? Is it time? Because I'm just confused. As a person who has controlled this time for a long time, it's hard for me to think like you do. It's hard for me to get in your head. So I'm asking, what is the big problem? You know, the information is great. There's free information on this channel that will help you make money. You have to take action. What is the problem? And I'm beginning to wonder if your childhood had something to do with this. Because many of us weren't raised by carefree, courageous, kind-hearted parents. Some of us were raised by gangsters. And you didn't get the best upbringing. You didn't get the best push in life. And I wonder if, you know, some of y'all will share how you feel that your parents, the way they raised you, messed up the way that you can start a business, the messed you up in terms of being courageous. Because starting a business is a very courageous thing to do. And I'm wondering if that's the sticking point. I'm wondering if that's where people are. I'm wondering, is social media giving you bad ideals? I'm wondering, what's the problem? Because, you know, when I went through my process, the identifiers for me having a hard time starting a business was I didn't have the skill sets. I didn't have the relationships. And that was my big problem. Because, you know, I didn't know how to sell back then. I didn't know how to shape stuff up. So I'm wondering, what is your issue? What's wrong with resale? Gary V, resale. So he's doing okay. Because if you never had a business, resale is the easiest, the quickest, the cheapest way to get your foot into the game. Oh, I'm just wondering, you know, I'm wondering if... I was you, what would I be doing? If I was you, how would I approach this? If I was you, what challenges and hurdles would I face? Because I can tell you, money, unless you're trying to start some storefront, money is usually not a barrier because you can start most businesses, many businesses, from the $5,000. I'm just wondering what is the hold up? Because time is ticking, folks. Time is really moving quickly. And I don't want you guys to be like some of my old patients, old, brittle, in a hospital with a pocket full of regrets. Because, you know, let's talk about regrets. Because I was going over that. And one of my biggest regrets, my biggest regret, if you ask me, was my marriage. Hands down, that was it. And I've gone through the process of what I could have done different, what I could do to change that, and I, I've worked on that. But that's my biggest regret. So what's your regrets? Do you have any? Because there was a study done about happiness. And there's this thing called regret minimization, minimization framework where you run your life where you have the least amount of regrets. And some people say they don't have any regrets. I'm not in their mind. I don't know if that's true or not. I feel that many people are going to have a lot of regrets about this business thing because you're not getting started. You're not taking action. You're not executing. And I don't really want that for you. I don't want you to be that person. You know, you're 80 years old, 95 years old, and you're looking at your beans, pinto beans, and cornbread, because that's all you can afford, and on your meager little money you get. I don't really want that for you. And I don't want you to look back and go like, man, I wish I had tried. I wish I had started. I wish I had gave it, given it a shot. 
I, I, I don't want that for you. Do you want that for yourself? One of the big things that I have learned in this life is we tend to regret the things we did not do more so than the mistakes that we make. That typically, because a mistake, you know, you're trying, something bad happened, you know. What, what is it? I want you guys to tell me. I want you to put in the comments. What is your biggest challenge towards starting a business? What is your biggest hurdle towards starting a business? Is it money? Is it time? Is it skills? I, I really want to know because we're about to get into some heavy-duty training where you get to ask me questions. And let's talk about this because this is one of the reasons I don't make myself readily available because I get a lot of people who like to ask crazy and foolish questions are not moving in the direction of starting the business. And I have to be very precious with my time. If you were in a boot camp to start a business, what were those things, what were those things you would want? What would you want to see? Time is extremely precious. It's the most precious resource that we all have. And I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty tight with my time because I have to be because people will exploit your stuff. What would you want to see? Because I know a lot of you want to get on the phone and talk to me for free. They ain't happening. It just ain't happening. A lot of people want to ask questions. Are you asking questions for clarity? Are you asking? Because I see a lot of questions that people ask that are permission based. Hey, you know, is such and such business ideals a good idea? You got the Google machine to do all the research you, you can do on that. Until you actually start that business, you're never going to know. So I want you guys to indulge me and tell me what's the biggest challenge you have. And if you've made the move to start in the business, congratulations on your success. That's a bold move. What's the biggest challenge you have in your business? What's that? What's going on with you? Because, you know, I, I will share one of my biggest challenges is hiring people. Hiring the right people. That is a huge challenge because you can hire someone, but they may not be the person you need to do the job. So hands down, that is my biggest challenge right now. And it's taken up a lot of time because I'm looking for people and talking to people. And this is one of the things that really drives people crazy. Um, the time that you take away from doing things to make money, to build your infrastructure, that's a big challenge of mine because I know if I pull this lever and I do this lever, I, money comes out. But if I'm over here on this wild goose chase, which has to be done, uh, this morning I sat down and I did a lot of things that had to be done. And I'm going to keep doing it. But that's one of my challenges. What's, what's your challenge in your business if you have one? Now, for those of you who really are serious about starting a business, what I like to term the 5%, below are some courses in the pathway. When I first introduced it, a lot of people jumped, jumped on it. And I see people who are like, I don't know if you don't trust me. I, I, I have no clue. But I see people who are signing up to the platform but not completing their purchase. So I want to know what, 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 what is that thing where you go ahead to my platform and you sign up, but you don't complete the purchase? What's up with that? I can see all of this stuff, and I'm just trying to figure out, like, why did they just sign up? So put that down below because the pathway will help you I want you to see your life two years from now. You go through this pathway, you're, two years from now, your life's going to be way better. You're going to have more money. And you're going to be happier. So let's all work on the happiness. For those who really want to get started, below is the pathway. Which courses you need to take and which order you need to take them. So that's to help you out. <clears throat> So with that, I'll see you guys later. I'm looking forward to reading your comments. Really am.